hi guys in this video i'm going to teach you how to optimize uh the cost of transporting your product if you have a different warehouse and uh, customers across different uh location or jurisdiction uh what do we mean by optimizing cost that is what is the possible uh lowest cost that you can pay to transport uh the core uh your product to various customers at a different locations uh with it of a microsoft excel this can be very uh easy for you uh to uh achieve and uh, is an important uh strategic uh decision for those uh, who are working in a uh, logistic and supply chain department okay others can also uh, get the uh, this idea and us uh, and uh, utilize it for other uh, purpose okay let's see this is the cost per unit of transporting uh, a product from uh, each of the warehouse and to various uh, customers. For instance, now if you want to transport uh, a product from warehouse one, this warehouse one to customer one, it means that you are going to pay three US dollar. And if you want to transport uh, it to customer, uh, a product to customer one from warehouse three, uh, you are going to pay uh, seven uh, US dollar. Uh, and as you see all this uh, per unit cost, you cannot just take it and say because this is three dollar, I must take everything uh, from warehouse one uh, to that customer. Uh, it is uh, it is not possible because we have the limited uh, 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 product in our way. Uh, let us assume that we have limited. Uh, product in our warehouse each of the warehouse in which uh it is not possible to transfer everything from warehouse one uh for instance now in this warehouse one i have 68,000 uh product there and if i say that i want because it is three uh, us dollar i want to transport everything from this warehouse one we can see that it, it is not possible uh to achieve this because every customers uh, must uh get their product in achieving this then what we now do uh is uh making use of an important uh microsoft excel adding uh which is uh known as uh software okay i'm going to that uh, later but let me uh firstly uh do some uh, preliminary uh exercise here so uh, so facilitate our uh, optimization here now here now this is the warehouse one we are two we are stay the total amount of the product that uh this customer we get irrespective of the uh warehouse uh i take the product must be equal to this forty thousand because this is the forty thousand that customer one ordered and customer two ordered uh fifty two thousand uh and so on then it's me that i must total this equal to sum then double click sum from warehouse one to warehouse three enter then let me copy this formula control c and paste it across control v then i will do the same thing here uh here now the total here now is me that uh the total of the product that i will get from the warehouse one to uh uh irrespective of the number of customers that uh that got uh, from this uh, warehouse then it's the same thing is equal to sum. We click it, then sum it from customer once. Customer first, okay. Then let me also copy the formula across. Control C. Control V. All right, escape. Good. Okay, that's good. I have it now. Then, uh, as I said, 
this is the available uh, product that is in warehouse one sixty eight thousand and forty eight thousand in warehouse two and seventy five thousand in warehouse three. Okay, let me also know the total of this is equal to sum sum of all the available products. I want to know the total available products in all our warehouse. Enter that is one hundred ninety one thousand products. Great. And if you sum all the orders uh by all customers, you see that I have one ninety thousand. That's great. Okay. Here now I must also know the total cost which I want to minimize. Okay. My total cost here is means that I have to multiply this by unit cost from uh, warehouse one to customer one, multiply by total number of the product i got from a warehouse one okay here now the total i also see six dollar multiplied by the total amount that i got uh from warehouse two the same thing seven this seven dollar multiplied by the total number of the product i got from a warehouse uh three that will give me the total cost of transporting uh, the product to customer uh one the same thing to hold this but it is not possible for me to do it one after the other or one by one to know the total cost of each customer or the total cost at uh in gross okay then there's a particular uh microsoft excel function that you can use uh to achieve this that is i want to multiply how this 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 by all this by unit cost then as we know that uh, our total cost is equal to the uh, per unit cost multiplied by the quantity okay then i will now make use of this uh <coughs> great uh microsoft excel fox which is known as some product okay is equal to some product some product is also powerful function in excel you can use it to achieve many things you can use it instead of look up or index or match okay then let me highlight all this okay comma multiply by this is my price okay then press enter great i have it now then have i done with all this preliminary exercise before i move to server okay great now i want microsoft access so far to predict each quantity that i must take from each warehouse to different customer to minimize my cost then if you go to data if you go to data then you will see the uh so far here this is so far but for those of you that have not uh put it uh, to your uh, right one then you can now go to file go to file okay go to options go to options okay great then come to add me add needs then you will now see sofa here this is sofa sofa add in then click ok click ok ok great and we have it uh automatically then what we do now click on sofa okay that is my sofa here now what is my objective my objective is to minimize my cost right then and this is the cost cell click it okay then minimize not maximize i want to minimize it okay by changing cell uh variable says variable cells and this is my variable says that i want the excel software to predict for me okay okay i want excel to predict it for me okay then let's go to constraint okay as an economist uh we say that uh woman resources uh are limited why how i want are uh, numerous are uh, the same thing applicable here uh there's a total amount that each of the warehouse uh, has 
then you cannot say because the price is very low here i must take this thing in order to all of them or all those things okay it's not possible now i have uh, i have uh, some constraint for instance now here they click on add add constraint here now all this all this all this okay this is all this total all this total must be equal to click here click on equal to must be equal to the order made by customers okay can you see it it must be equal to all orders made by all customers that is this total orders by customer from we are one we are so we are still which is the forty thousand must also to must also be equal to forty thousand here okay then click on add another constraint another constraint that i have here is that the total product from warehouse one must be less than or equal to sixty eight thousand okay must be less than or equal to sixty eight thousand that is the available product in warehouse one okay then let's now do it the same thing with uh, this uh, warehouse two okay the product that we must get there must be less than or equal to forty eight thousand must be it must not be greater than that okay then now i light it up to here then less than or equal to is already there by default then all these available products you can do it one by one but it will waste my time okay add then another question here is that how this product they are in full not in decimal okay you cannot have you cannot have half that is i have a uh, three and a half uh, let's assume that is carton three and a half cartons uh two and a half cartons seven and a half cartons it's not possible i want it to be in the old number that is another constraint then it means that all this all the result that excel should give me should be in the whole number then you will now come here then click on integer okay click on integer okay because i finished my all my constraint i don't have any constraint again then i will click on the, okay okay i have everything intact now i have everything intact then since i have everything intact then i can click on so far and make sure that it's on glg not linear okay click on so far okay so far found a solution okay it means that all consumer optimizing conditions are satisfied correct then click on ok can you see beautiful i have it it means that for customer one all the product must be taken from warehouse one okay that is only way we can optimize our transportation cost okay then for customer two all the 52 okay all the 52,000 must also be taken from warehouse three okay and if you are look at it it's the one that give us the minimum uh lowest cost here then for customer three i have uh i should take 28,000 here 28,000 uh, from warehouse one and 15,000 uh from warehouse three you know we cannot say that it's because it is four us dollar i must take everything there no it's not possible because of the constraint or uh the availability of the product i have there then for customer four it means that uh i should take my uh forty-eight thousand product from warehouse two and seven thousand from uh, uh warehouse three and if you see i uh, uh, look at the uh, final solution we see that i get my 190,000 here which is equal to 190,000 total product that uh, each of these uh customers ordered for uh this thing that uh, uh i just did uh, if you say that uh, you want to do it uh, off hand or take calculator to do it you, it might take your whole day without even achieving uh 
this and if you look at the total cost now this is 749,000 this is the optimum cost that you can incur to transport our uh, all these are uh, product to uh, uh all these customers are uh, at their different uh geographical location anything outside uh this forget it either you have the uh higher cost or you uh, you won't able to uh, supply all the product uh as demanded by uh your customers okay uh i believe that uh you have also learned uh one or two things uh, from this video my name is still your uh a humble guy ibrahim papatunde uh excel guru uh use excel and be excel bye for now and don't forget uh to subscribe to my youtube channel uh so as to get the latest uh update as we upload a new video use excel and be excel bye